Can you recommend any groups to get in touch with that are open to contact and assist at the end user experience, specifically for informing development? <laughs> I mean, I'm figuring out. How to, so I went on a little bit of a journey um, because there was a lack of this, um, or I, I perceived lack of this. Um, I went on a journey of, uh, and it's, it's still on my radar to do in the future, uh, mm. of building a um, a team um, to provide services specifically. You told me about it. Yes, I did. Um, oh, around really? now, this is focused on neurodiversity, uh, mm. neurodiversity and accessibility and association with neurodiversity. Um, so. I'm going to say there's there's not there's not enough now. I do I do know that most of the groups that I've been involved with. Again, I'm going to use the content my own context here because that's what I know best. But most of the groups that I've been involved with. Um, so there's a group called the Neurodiversity Association. There's a whole load of coaches out there that I I know work on with neurodiversity uh, mm. and and look at accessibility. Um, now the part of the reason that they look at accessibility so prominently is because access accessibility leads back to the team right so mm -hmm. if if we want to build more accessible products we need to have more uh, inclusive and accessible teams we need to be able to um, build teams that have that diversity built into them um, Otherwise, we have this problem. I'm, I'm going off topic slightly just to make a point here that yeah. we have this problem where we go and try and find it with other groups where, who could give us that user experience. Now, the question is, why why do we do so many people need to go elsewhere to find groups to make things accessible when we've got teams and companies with hundreds of thousands of people in some cases? Um, is the are we are we not bringing people in to organisations who who are diverse? Are we not being inclusive enough? Uh, is there a question mm. there around the accessibility of the organisations and the teams? Um, there, there is, like I said, there is people who go out and work with these teams, and generally they have a good understanding and will talk to anybody about accessibility. Um, so if you dig out, I'm, again, using the context that I know, which is neurodiversity is, is my, uh, there's, look at, dig out neurodiversity coaches or, um, uh, autistic job coaches. They, they do that because they know about accessibility. They know what, why it's important to have, uh, and the power of having, um, accessible teams in order mm. to drive accessible products. Um, and these people will will then be able to feed out into other people that they know, other groups they know, or organizations who are already doing this, that they've worked yeah. with. Um, so I, I could give you a, a whole list. Again, I'm, I, I could stream off a list, which is not going to be useful here, but um, I will stick some stuff into, uh, the, into the thread on the club again after um, that would make sense. And I too, folks, remind me to, because I was talking to a friend of mine a few weeks ago and, and she was telling me that she did this exact same thing, which is what I think, um, which is what I think I test it, I test IT is talking about here, which is she was working on an app and she went to um, some users. I think, I think these users were visually impaired. Yes. And just and just kind of did user testing with them and just observed how they interacted with the app, how they used um, screen reader tools. And she just said that was one of the most powerful experiences ever. So I, I will I will find out if that was a specific, you know, specific to the organization she was working with or that was a general thing. And then I'll, I'll, I'll add that to the club as well. So well, the, the, it's, it, yeah, I mean, the other way of doing that is, is bringing people rather than looking for groups is to find is to 
put, I've seen uh, organizations put it out there where they do workshop days of bringing people in just to use the software mm. uh, in house or obviously in the current environment online, maybe um, online workshops where they just p get people using the software in front of them um, mm. on, a, on a screen share or whatever. Um, mm. Basically, sitting down alongside somebody and watching them use the software is what you what, what I guess we're getting at here um, mm. and, and learning from from how they use the software if if we can't build um, teams inclu inclusive and uh, di diverse enough teams to bring that into the team then if we're looking outside you can you just need to go to a lot of groups will help you with that things like um, National Testing Society will fi will help you find the right groups of people to bring in to support uh, neurodiversity and aut autism for example um, and, and I'm sure the same applies for uh, visual impairment charities and groups that work with visual impaired. The, they'll know people who are interested in getting involved in these things. Such a great, great point to end that question on just have diverse teams, such an obvious solution staring us right in the face.